our book for today is Rufus and the Blackberry Monster by Lisa Stab. This is kind of a long story. Yeah, a little bit long. I've read this before. It's a little bit long. So let's just start. Rufus and the Blackberry Monster. The author dedicated this book to her dad. Rufus and Archie, said Mrs. Fox. I'm going to bake a pie for Amber's birthday tea. I need you to pick some blackberries. Off you go! Rufus loved blackberry pie, but he didn't like the blackberry bush at the bottom of the garden. It was big and dark and scary. Be brave, Rufus, said Mrs. Fox. Fill your bucket right up to the brim. As they walked down the garden path, Archie began to tease Rufus. The blackberry monster is hiding in the bush. The blackberry monster, said Rufus. His teeth began to chatter. Who's the blackberry monster? He sounds v v very scary. He is, grim Archie. He is purple, and he has big ears, big nose, long whiskers, and long tails. If he catches us, he'll eat us up in one gulp. Archie giggled as Rufus shiver all over. The blackberry bush loomed up ahead of them. You start here, said Archie in a bossy voice. I'll pick on the other side. He sniggered as he disappeared. He had taken the sunny side for himself. Rufus was left alone in the darkest part of the bush. I must be brave, thought Rufus. He picked the blackberries faster and faster. Ping, ping, ping. They flew into his bucket. Rustle, crackle, rustle, snap went the noise. Rufus turned around. There was nothing. Rustle, rustle, crackle, snap. Rufus' ear pricked up with fright. Archie, is that you? He called. But there was no answer. Rufus knew it was a blackberry monster. Maybe he should just run back home and forget about being brave. Rustle, crackle, rustle, snap. The monster was getting closer. Rufus saw a dark shadow with big ears, a big nose, long whiskers, and a long tail. Suddenly, Archie rushed out from behind the bush. He wasn't laughing anymore. It's a blackberry monster, he yelled. It's coming to eat us up. Archie was scared. He tried to hide behind Rufus, but Rufus remembered to be brave. Brave enough for both of them. The shadow was getting bigger and bigger and closer and closer. Rufus took a deep breath and shouted, I'm not scared of you! Eek! cried the blackberry monster. There in front of Rufus was a little tiny squeaky mouse. Rufus started to giggle. It's all right, Archie. You can look now. I caught the blackberry monster. Monster? Squeaked the mouse. I'm not a monster. I thought you were monsters. I was so scared, I dropped all my blackberries. I haven't anything for my supper now. Then, you better come with us to Amber's birthday tea. There's plenty to eat, said Rufus. He smiled at Archie. Archie did his best to smile back. Mrs. Fox made the most extra delicious blackberry pie for Amber's birthday tea. Rufus, Archie, Amber, and the tiny mouse ate it up in seconds. Then Rufus told everyone about the blackberry monster and how brave he had been. I know who the blackberry monster is, said Mrs. Fox as she looked at their faces. 
You're all blackberry monsters. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoy it. Good night, sweet dreams, and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment down below because I would like to hear from you guys.